Undaunted. Where's the Where's the box cover? Frankly, I'm sorry. Undaunted. <laughs> player game I'm playing with Craig and I am Nazi Germany World War Two game it's a strategic game it's really fun and he is playing as Germany I'm playing as America it's obviously Germany is better so we have our map set up here and there's various things on the map you should know about so we have different characters mm -hmm. we have riflemen's and scouts. There's mortar people and all that. The A and B are just like different squadrons. Right. right. Squadron A, squadron B. So the cards up here, you have them over there. The cards up here are your supply. But you don't have them in your hand. It's kind of like a deck builder. So shuffle, or shuffle your hand face down so you don't know what's in it. Uh, while we're doing this. So we will draw these cards from our hand. And that will basically be the actions of our... Like, what actions we get. Um, so, Rifleman A. So, and each card has what it can do down here. It's like, Rifleman can move one. They can attack one. So, this this one. So, the, one, the number next to the move is how much tiles it can move. The number next to the attack is how much dice you can roll when you attack. And then control is to control an objective. These are objectives, right? And oh, for objective two, you need two, uh, two for control. No, I just needed a for two. Defense. Now, now the trick is scouts. I cannot move to a tile that has not been searched with a uh, a recon that has not been reconned with uh, one of these. One of these. Um, you need a scout to move into this. And wherever scouts move, they place one of these tokens, unless there's already one there. So wherever scouts move, they place one of these um, mag binoculars. They place one of these like binocular tokens wherever they go. And then you can move to any place with that binocular. And, to, and it takes an action to control. So each card is like an action. And it takes an action to control. An objective, the objective is just to control five objective points. Okay, so you, you, both of us, yeah. so you have three already controlled. I yeah. have none, but I'm closer to these. Which ones are the three? So see the three right there? And you control that because you have that. Laray, 15th of June, 1944. The 30th Infantry Division first action was on the morning of... The 15th of June. While over half the division was still afloat or moving through the assembly areas on Omaha Beach, the initial attack was made by an improvised combat team. I don't think this is a beach. Um, difficult opposition was encountered as soon as the leading squads crept past the railway tracks leading east from Keratin. By mid-afternoon, the U.S. forces had worked their way through artillery and fire and swung to the southeast to threaten German forces grouped along the houses in the hamlet of Luray. So this is scenario one. Luray. No. So defense. When you attack someone, there's you, you uh, have to account for defense that person has. So if you want to shoot my rifleman A, right? With your rifleman you account for distance which is two tiles away so that's two defense the tile defense modifier which is three for this tile so that's five plus my rifleman number that's it so like your numbers right there my number is four so you have to do two plus three five plus four nine you have to break nine so you have to get a ten to hit and it's ten side dice starting initiative so you draw three cards from your deck and I would just place them down. So I got Rifleman B, Rifleman A, and Scout A. I got five I, got I mean, I'll go first, but it doesn't matter. Bad guy. Okay, so my rifle. So now 
I can't move my rifleman unless I move my scout. So I'm gonna move my scout A. I'm gonna move him here and here because he can move twice. Mm -hmm. Scout scan. And with that, he explores these objectives. So now my scout is here. He explores this objective. That's his turn. So I put his card in my discard pile. Now I just have the two riflemen I can move. So I'm going to move rifleman B. Go move him back to this one. And rifleman A to this one. And then that's my turn. I know there's more to I'm just going to do that. And I'm sorry, that's so good. now those two go straight to your discard pile. So these two go straight into your discard pile. When you when you bolster anything goes straight to your discard pile, but now you have two extra health, and next time you shuffle, you'll have more riflemen to draw. Right? So I'll have these two guys just in case any yeah. time my rifleman die or any if rifleman A dies. Yeah, if I hit rifleman A, you'll have two extra lives with him. And you'll draw him more often, because you have three cards in now of him now. I'm going to move Rifleman B. So, I don't know if there's a hole right there. So I yes, you can. Yeah, you can go there. I could go here. You also have a scout, which you can explore with. Is that a scout? This is a scout, yes. So if I go like here and then here. Then you would place two of these tokens here, so you know you've explored yeah. them. And, and then that's your turn. You would like a nerd though and try to attack him. I might. So you can actually go into the top, into the same tile I'm in, mm -hmm. and that contests the zone. I can no longer capture an objective if it's contested. Mm -hmm. So like if, say, this rifleman was here, I could not just control this zone until I kill your rifleman. So draw your next See, I got Fog of War, so that goes straight into your discard. Sense? Yeah. So I'll go first. Your squad I got a platoon leader. All right, so I got Scout B, which is this guy. I got a squad leader and I got a platoon sergeant. I'm going to listen to you and I'm going to fire at your Scout B with this Scout B. So that's a distance of one plus this. So that's two or three, sorry. Three and then plus, what's this, five from this over here? Mm -hmm. So three plus five, that's eight. I have to break eight with one dice to fight you. I'm gonna go for it. I got eight, which means I don't hit you. I have to break yeah. it. So that was actually really close. Dang it. Okay. And then I got a platoon sergeant. He can bolster or command. Command means you draw two more cards from your deck and put them in your hand. Bolster means you can now with a platoon sergeant, you can grab three cards of any. Mm -hmm. Alright. In the beginning. So I'm gonna grab two, one of each rifleman. And then I'm gonna grab Another rifleman. You're a bunch of rifles. You're the main fighting. Yes, and then that's my turn. I would. Use it's good to bolster. Platoon. Okay, right, so you can take three cards from your supply and I'm put them in your discard. Two riflemen. All right. I'm gonna take one scout B. I'm right. gonna use my squadron leader okay. Like, okay there you go there you go okay. redo that one I'm put. then you have a you have what is that scout a mm -hmm. so he's chilling at spawn i'm going to rush me move him twice here twice here right so you both okay. your scouts are full chilling there spread full full court press all right i have so many cards keeper this kind of sucks because i just got two squad leaders <laughs> and I can't inspire, so I'll just bolster, I guess. So I grab two riflemen of each squad. Bolster my health. Oh, look at that. I'm going to place, I'm going to use this platoon leader real quick. So you can command and draw two more cards from your deck, or you can bolster. I'm going to grab two more cards. All right. Um, That's actually really good. A lot of riflemen. I'm just gonna move Rifleman B right there. That's that's not scouted. Okay. Boom! There you One, go. One, two. Okay. That, okay, there you go. So okay. You can move you can move in here if it's if you scout it. You can move in there. Yeah. But to the left to like fight me? Yeah. You don't wanna do that in a World War Two game. And I have two actually I can just move here. I could attack you from here, Cooper. Right? What? I could attack you from here. You can attack me from any distance. 
Well, it just adds on to my defense. To who? It's got B. You have a rifle A, so yeah, you can attack me. So that'd be distance of one, mm -hmm. tile modifier of one, so that's two, and then plus four, so six. That's actually pretty good. So you have to beat six with your roll. Yeah, Three. I, I was like, watch me miss, you know? I will say... Something that's interesting about this game is the rolls are often high. Six is actually low for this game. So I got my three cards. Okay, so I have two Rifle Manets and a Scout A. Look at that. I got a squad leader, Cooper. Well, I'm next. So I have a Scout A and two Rifle Manets. All right. Well, my Rifle Manet is just going to start laying fire on your Rifle Manets because, well, in the first, no, no, no. He's going to take one action to control this objective. Of course, it's what you do. My scout A is here. He's going to go here and then back up here. Just so I can see that. I can't really do much because I have to lay down suppressive fire on these guys. Then my rifleman A is going to fire on your rifleman. What is that, B? Because he's in worse defense. He's in the zero defense. So that'd be one, five. I have to break five. Well, I'm gonna, I know you're going to get about five. I got nine. No, so, shit. All right, so now you look through your discard pile first to try to find a rifleman B. All right, then you put him off to the side, not back in your supply, off to the side. He's dead. You can't get him back. Mm -hmm. I probably have to bolster because I can't inspire. Yes, you can inspire, so you have to bolster. I have plenty of Rifleman A, so I'm just going to go straight for Rifleman Bs. Straight for Rifleman Bs, you know? Yes. So you just eliminated one of them. So I'm going to use my Rifleman A and attack you. Okay. For some reason, the stream crashed, so... It's back online, then. <laughs> so it's like a joy to see me doing this, Cooper. And they're gonna immediately leave. <laughs> so I draw my three. Um, it's my turn. Got fog of war. Crap. I can't bolster much, so I'm gonna use my platoon sergeant to command. So I draw two more. See, oh, here's an instance: squad leader A and rifleman A. I can inspire rifleman A to get an interaction, which I am because I. Could only bolster my scout, and I don't really want to do that. And Rifleman A is going to attack one of my other guys. Is that? Rifleman B is going to control this. That's his turn. Cool. So my Rifleman A is going to just fire upon your Rifleman B. Now to break five. Yay. Okay. Of course, your guys have I nine. I got five. Nine, of course. You know. Well, that's that one guy. I need to do something real quick. So I'm going to inspire, use my squad leader to inspire my rifleman again to fire again because I missed, and I missed again. <laughs> so I missed both times firing upon your rifleman B right here. I'm going to move my rifleman here, and does it take an action to scout it out, right? Uh, to control it, yes. Alright, so now you control that. Now you need one more objective to win. So I get to join both of those. And then you have a scout A. You know, I'm just going to long shot it. I'm going to take my scout A again for this scout. Alright, so you have to break one, four, nine. Nine. Eight. Close, close, close. Alright. Conceal. So conceal and recon. Those, you can basically either take a Fog of War out of your deck with that, or add a Fog of War to my deck. I got another Fog of War. But I got one Rifleman A and one Rifleman B. Alright. So my Rifleman B is going to move down here. Oh, who could have thought? That's his turn. Then my Rifleman A is going to fire upon your Rifleman C. That would be a distance of 1, tile defense of 3, and then base damage of your Rifleman of 4, so 7. Wait, tile defense of 3? Or, sorry, tile defense of 2, but with a range It'll of be seven. 3. So 7. I have to break 7. I said that Watch weird. Watch seven. Three. I did not break seven, so I miss again. Man, come on, Rifleman A. Guess what, Rifleman B? Well, or Scout B. Do you wanna... Okay, so you're running in. Alright, so you get that. Got it. And now this Ready? is contested, so we're fighting each other. Alright, oh, you're, you're fighting. We'll count that as a six, because it's mostly on six. 
uh, six. So we have three. That does that. It's nowhere close to a nothing. Uh, but six does not break my defense. I have. Oh, this is perfect. This is a perfect hand. I got squad leader B, rifleman B, and scout B. This is like a perfect hand. So rifleman B is going to control this. No, I I go first. So right, so rifleman B is going to control that objective. Scout B is going to fire at your scout B. I have to break eight. I got a five. And my squad leader is going to inspire my scout to fire at your scout B. So I have to break eight. And I got three. Gosh. <laughs> okay, there you go. I move there. No, it's okay, contested. Yeah. Now it's contested. So now this goes back to this. Squad leader A. Uh, all right, so we have squad leader A, rifleman A, and rifleman B. Rifleman B is going to move down here. Wow. My squad leader A, well, my rifleman A is going to fire at your rifleman A. So I have to beat five. So the tile defense of one and a rifleman base defense of four. So beat five, I got nine. So I hit your rifleman A. And my squad leader is going to inspire my rifleman A to fire at your rifleman A again. I got uh, six. Does that break? When you, your rifleman A? Yeah, fire in your rifleman A. Does six break? Where's no. your rifleman yes. A? No, yes. Yes, it does. Where's your rifleman A? Right here. I'm firing at this guy. So six barely breaks. Move my scout A right here. Okay, so yeah. I'm move now right. you can uh I'm go there. My this guy right here. You have two cars oh, crap. Yes I do. <laughs> Dude, you're killing me. Balls. Scout A and rifleman A B. Rifleman B is gonna capture this. <laughs> Scout A, though, is going to fire at your Rifleman B. So I have to have one, two, three, break seven. That's my scout. Firing at your Rifleman B. I got nine. I hit your Rifleman B. My Rifleman A is going to fire on your Rifleman A. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to do it again. You, you can, that, that hit the dice. I'm gonna inspire him again. Okay. That breaks. So you hit my rifle one A. Because he has less. To break one, six. two, six. Yes. Because he's less. Plus three. Yeah. That's true. Seven. You got him. I right, used so rifle one A. Okay. So I got platoon sergeant and rifle one B. Oh yeah. Look at that. I also got a platoon sergeant. So I'm gonna command to draw two more cards. Okay. And he goes away. Now I have two Rifleman A and a Rifleman B. Rifleman B is going to fire at your Rifleman A, right? One, two, three, break seven. Rifleman B is firing at your Rifleman A, break seven. I got four, so I missed. Rifleman B is dead. Now I got two Rifleman A's. He's firing at your Rifleman A's. No. Break five. I got four. Four. You're gonna do it again. Yes, I am. Nine. There we go. So I hit your rifle with A once. Scout's gonna. Wait, oh, I'm gonna do command guy. Okay. Look at that. It's the rifleman B. I'm gonna take the zone. Uh, yeah, you can do that. So you have this. You win. Crap, I didn't think about that. Yeah, you won. Okay, yeah, I was not I forgot that was a that was a you know, uh, bleh. I forgot that was an objective point. Like you have so many riflemen B, you guys prance yourself over there. Yeah, I forgot this was an objective point. So yeah, you have one, two, three, four, five. I really leave this guy. Yeah, I couldn't leave that guy. I should I should have ran up here and contested you. So a uh, a smaller but fun game. It's a quick scenario.